All right, let's grab crawdad. There we go, got a little guy. This one just happens to have no pinchers. Go ahead and hook them on here. That was just hooked right at the base of the tail. Since this is a really small one, I'm just using a size one hook. And I should, with this pole, be able to cast them without adding weight. Oop, I already feel one. There we go, got him. That did not take long. Got him in, it's a good fish. On the crawdad. Again, just a size one hook. Go ahead and let him go. What is up guys, this is Zach from Angler's Escape and today I wanna to show you how to use crawfish for bass. And so right here I went to my local creek, caught a little crawfish, and I want to show you how to hook them. So the first thing I do is normally with the crawfish about this size, I use a size one hook. Sometimes I'll use up to a one odd or two odd if it's a little bigger. But what I do is I go ahead, and I'll show you this a good close up. So you grab them right here, they can't pinch you. And then what you want to do is go from the underside of their tail, take that hook, go up and through like that. And then that presents a natural presentation. They'll fall to the bottom like this, and I usually leave the claws on because it gives them a little more action. So we'll go ahead and toss them out there and see if we catch anything. But today I'm using 12 pound test line, and since it is a little bit of a smaller crawdad, I need a little bit of weight. So I have an egg sinker on a Carolina rig. So basically, when the fish starts to take that crawdad, it won't feel the weight of my sinker because it's freely sliding. Then I got my swivel, and then about a foot down, I got my crawdad. And again, I just left on the pinchers to give it a little more action. We'll go ahead and throw them out there and see if we can't catch some nice bass. All right guys, so one more setup I wanna talk about when fishing with crawdads is just not using any weights at all. If you can get away with it, try not to use weights because it gives it a little more natural presentation. The fish, when they do take the bait, they feel less resistant, so they're less likely to just spit it out real fast. And so right here I have a pretty light action rod so I can really launch this crawdad out there without any weight. If you have bigger crawdads also, you can use that heavier pound test line, still get a good casting distance, and you don't need those weights. If you don't have to use the weights, don't use them. But I hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching. Look at this guy. He tangled me up on all my other lines. Only four pound test line. Just free lining that little crawfish. But that is a beautiful fish. Hooked right with that size one hook with the crawfish. Beautiful, 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 beautiful channel. Look at that guy. Gotta just get this hook out of here, the size one. But they're really loving these crawdads today. The nice thing about crawdads is not only do you catch bass but you also catch a lot of catfish a lot of species love crawdads it's just a natural food source for them you don't have to sit there and constantly work it like a lure today they're biting so quick on the crawdads you pretty much have to have the pole in your hand when you cast it out or they'll take your bait it just shows how good live crawdads are for bait so go ahead find a local creek catch some crawdads go out to your local pond or lake and start fishing and you should have some great luck but we'll go ahead and release this guy Ooh, there we go guys, got a bass on that crawdad, stick the crawdad out right there. It's a nice bass, and like I said, I was just free lining it, no weights at all. Catching bass quick, a lot faster if I don't use that weight, I think it's just a lot more natural presentation. But that crawdad probably never even hit the bottom, I just cast it out and as it was sinking, this guy nailed it. Again, I was using a size one hook with that crawdad. Again, I'd go up to a two odd if it, I'm using bigger crawdads. So that's a nice fish. I'm gonna go ahead and release them and hopefully we get some more. Oh, there we go, there's a good one. Stay on, buddy. Oh, jumping. Another good bass. 
nailed that crawfish. Try to jump into my other line. All right, he broke my line at the bank. Luckily, I was able to grab him. Let me see, my line's right here just snapped. Really good, healthy channel catfish that we just caught on that crawdad. All right, guys, a couple more tips on using crawdads for bait. Is if you grab them right, at, if you pinch their claws against their body, they can't pinch you. So like this, I'm completely safe. The other thing is, is when you are fishing with crawdads, always make sure every like two minutes or so, to reel in a little bit or to reel in all the way and recast because what will happen is these crawdads will find something to burrow into and then the fish won't be able to find them. So when you are fishing for crawdads make sure to check your bait often and make sure they're not burying themselves into the seaweed or mud. Another good bass on a crawdad. Nailed him in the top, top of the mouth. Really have to be ready to set that hook. Another good fish. We'll go ahead and release him. There we go. Ooh, something picked it up. Hopefully he didn't get it. Take the bait. Oh, he's on again. There we go, we got him that time. These bass are hitting these crawdads before they even hit the bottom. Ooh, this guy all tangled up what is going on here go ahead and release them all right guys one more tip if your crawfish ever dies make sure to change it out immediately with a nice live one if it does die and you have no bait left you can work a dead one you just got to keep jerking it a little bit because usually if a dead crawfish is just sitting on their bottom it's pretty hard to get a bite you can still catch fish it's just a lot harder than a nice live crawfish so go ahead and if you have enough bait replace the crawfish as soon as possible if it dies. Size one hook. Nice bass. 